Hello everyone, this is Navneet and in this demo we are going to learn about new Renault's reInvent feature for uh, for AWS Glue, that is the integration with the Ray. So if you do not know, uh, Ray, Ray is, uh, is a distributed processing for Python, similar to what we have as Spark. Uh, so, and uh, so let's let's go and learn how how you can start using using Ray with AWS Glue. So if you go to the AWS Glue Studio, you will to see there are there are way for you to create a you know Ray job uh, by using by selecting this this option in here. However, I will be using the Jupyter Notebook uh, just to kind of showcase what what the code I'm looking to write. So if you go to the Jupyter Notebook and uh, and able to create a you're able to see this you're able to provide like uh, your job name and then I am role and then in the kernel you're able to see there's an option available for you to spark or for ray so if you select a ray and then let you create a ray kernel right so similarly I have already been done so I have created this Jupyter notebook uh, with uh, if you see here uh, I, I have created with uh, mm, uh, with with the re eat uh, you know kernel and then uh, this is being announced on the glue 4.0 so this is again newly uh, newly announced feature uh, during the reinvent so if you see here this is 4.0 and then this is a python and everything as such see if you see here the number of worker type is is 10 so it's more like you can have 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 as many as worker type uh, similar to spark uh, but if you can go back and uh, see right how it is different from the Python uh, and if you go and create the Python shell here so it let you create the Python shell but uh, in a Python shell uh, you do not have an option to provide uh, the worker node okay how many worker node you need you only have an option to select either 1.16 dp or 1 dp right so in uh, whereas with with the array you have an option to select how many worker node you can you can define similar to what we have in spark uh, so what i will be doing here in in this uh, notebook uh, or in this demo is i will be uh, here i just uh, you know set the uh, set the recontext and then i have defined how many worker node i i have to I have to use and thereafter i will be running this uh, I will be running this uh, the cell uh, which kind of importing the ray and then importing all other libraries uh, and which which creating this this session here once the session has been get created I will be uh, I will be the running this script so what I'm doing in this script is I will be reading this s3 uh, this if file and uh, and then I'm, comp I'm compressing this zip file and then I'm be I will be using the ray dot data to read the CSP file and then eventually I will be just just putting a count uh, you must be wondering why I will why I will be unzipping this CSP file and then the whole idea is uh, because this is uh, you know when when the zip file is uh, is um, is split means when it's compressed it's not splitable in nature so that's the reason i will be uncompressing this file so once that compression is being done i will be able to use the distrib distributed processing uh, uh i i i able to use the distributed processing so this this can be um this this can be uh you know run with with a multiple uh worker node right so this that's what we're doing i will be just waiting for this code to get uh, get done uh, the script completed and if you see here it, it read the uh, it read like uh, the file and it created uh, uh, with, with the data of 57 uh, million records so if I go and look into that s3 you will see there's a single file file has been created and this is this many record it has so thank you